In this video, we want to multiply two functions together. Now the key for doing this is to make sure that every term in one function gets multiplied by every single term in the other function. And of course, once they're multiplied together, to see if you can combine any terms or simplify it further. Let's take a look at an example and multiply them together. So my two functions here are 2x plus 1 and x squared minus 3x plus 4. So if I want to look at, say, f multiplied by g, then this means I want my f function multiplied by my g function. There we are. So I must make sure that both of these terms get multiplied by all the terms in here. Let's start with the 2x and run it through the second one. So 2x times an x squared 2x cubed, 2x times a minus 3x, so minus 6x squared, and 2x times a 4, plus 8x. Alright, so that has made sure that the 2x has now gone to all of the terms. We'll do the same thing for the 1. So now that we're done multiplying things together, we want to see if we can combine anything or simplify it further. And looking through this, you can see that we have a couple of terms that are squared. So we want to make sure that we combine those ones. And it looks like we also have a couple of terms that are just normal x's. So we'll put those together as well. So 2x cubed minus a 5x squared plus 5x plus 4. And it looks like this one's done. So I've combined the two by multiplying and com combined any extra terms. Let's do one more example to make sure you got this process down. Okay, here's a couple of other functions. My first one is x plus 3, and the other one is 1 divided by x squared minus 9. We want to do the same thing, take one function and multiply it by the second one. Now this one is a little bit different in that the second one only has one term in it. So I'm just going to combine the two together by imagining this over 1 and say so I have an x plus 3 all over an x squared minus 9. So this makes sure that the both are now multiplied together. Take this a little bit further and see if you can simplify it by factoring the bottom. By factoring out that bottom, you can see that we do have an extra term in there. Time to get rid of it. So after simplifying, we're just left with 1 divided by an x minus 3. So as long as you make sure that you're multiplying carefully and simplifying, you can see that multiplying functions is not that bad. For more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.